House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. Hey guys, this is Ellison Cruz welcoming you for more Le Noir. Okay, so in the last part we got started with the very first mission of the arson unit, which was admittedly slightly long, but this one is actually fairly short, and um, I feel like I'm always saying this, but we're getting close to the end, you guys. With the exception of Nicholson Electroplating, this is the, uh, we're almost halfway through this case, or through this unit, so just going to keep that in mind, and so yeah. Ooh, so let's go ahead and switch on over to I guess the Broderick. And uh this one is yeah, this one is fairly short. It's still gonna probably, you know, be one of those average lengths for my videos per episode or whatever, you know, taking like two or three videos per case despite the length, and it's simply for moments like this where we see men with porn stashes and crazy bow ties walking around everywhere thinking they're all that and a bag of chips, but they're really not, so so here we're going to take a look at Elysian Fields, this thing we keep hearing about, and, for, and I'm probably going to end up pronouncing it really weird a lot of the different times, because there's like people I know like Alicia and Alicia that are pronounced, or that are, uh, I'm teasing you, oh, call you jokester, yeah, they're, uh, spelled really similarly, but it's Elysian Fields, I think, wow, Herschel, you suck at driving, man, but, uh, anyway, I'm hoping to get a lot of the, sh um, recorded because I, it's been almost two weeks since I last recorded Reefer Madness, which is the last episode I recorded, and <clears throat> or I guess last case, and it's just been so long. I've had this thing, this game, for almost two and a half months, and that almost beats my Dead Space 2 record, so, and I've actually had this game while I still had Dead Space 2, which I returned almost two months ago, but here we have a house fire now. This one's slightly peculiar. It has one of the more ravaged scenes that we've been to yet. Which means they're heating it up. Just kidding. Suburban Redevelopment Fund, building the new victory homes of tomorrow today. And I don't know how I had that memorized because I just glanced at it. But uh, let's go ahead and talk over to Crothers here, who apparently was uh, expecting us. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, today is uh, July 25th, I do believe. Uh, yes, it is. And it's like almost 3 in the morning, which is weird because... Right now, my well, sleep schedule fine. is like, quote unquote, normal. Um, so this is actually really late for me to be recording, but... Anyway, we see this body here, and they got burnt to death, obviously, but they seem to have been posed. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? Like, because God had mercy on their souls. And the volume is really low on my TV, so... I might not turn it up, but I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. And you come to this conclusion how? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So this case, I don't know. It's weird. The, the story starts heating up here pretty quick, and one and the next case, next couple of cases are actually one of my favorites, or a few of my favorites, and it's for a couple reasons. But you guys will see it, unless you already know. But I don't even know why. But first, we're gonna go and inspect these. Bodies. I need to find my remote so I can turn up the volume a little. There we go. Hopefully not too loud. Fire effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Yep. So uh, it's kind of unfortunate how they're all dead like that. They're all praying. They're living on a prayer, more like burning on a prayer. So, so for some reason, the game usually gives me a weird, uh, random ding over here. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Huh. Well, anyway, here's the second thing we get to look at, and after we see this, we get kind of this weird little thingy-majig. So here's the family, and look how happy they look. The guy on the right looks really familiar, or the kid, I should say, but I don't know. No, I have not. Show some respect. Jeez. Jesus. Uh, so okay. Now when we put that down, Herschel's gonna freak out. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. Perhaps. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? The wrong guy. I like how he, he just instantly he debunks himself, like he's so sure of himself, but... Guilt. For the fire? For his mistake. This guy so. wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. Of course. Probably thought they'd be happier together. God, you know, I love like his grimaces, just like... Yeah, you are very disturbed. You lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. Wow, did they have words like compartmentalize back then, but... Yeah, Herschel's pissed off. Sure, it's the same guy. 
Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them? Is, is it me, or does it seem strange like that fit, flies man. would be attracted to burnt bodies like... Right. Oh! Sucks. <laughs> so, there Herschel goes. Kind of sad. Check out the but... hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Wait, what is that? The rest yeah, this is the one right here. What is find out what's eating pigs. So we can re-inspect it, I guess. And then we can kind of see the dead father over there. It kind of sucks. Unfortunately, we can't jump over these just like the other burnt body. So let's get out of here. And let's go talk to our partner, old Herschel Biggs. Hershey Kisses. For our stomachs. So yeah, it sucks because, you know, we know that Biggs was in the army, of course. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. Mm -hmm. You, you got it! Me and you won't be pretty much longer. Whoa. We can get this guy, Herschel. Hella. We can hella get this sucker. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? He's like, actually, I know I have. At Bella Wood. The things that went on in that <sighs> farmhouse. My own guys on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. How do you know? There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable Whoa. And this yeah, story. he's pretty pissed. You get Cole's like, I want justice, man. I'm not gonna be a hardcore killer. From the Stone Cold, whatever. Sure. The Morellis were winners too. He's like, no the shit. That list. So. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go yeah, I'm gonna work the neighbors. <laughs> okay. Let's work the neighbors. Okay, but okay, get a continuation. <laughs> I don't know if he means interrogating people or just anything else, but first, um, uh, who, who the hell said that? Are you, are you talking to me? You stupid bitch. Okay, let's go over here, and when we <laughs> curdle over that in a comedic fashion, we can go and inspect over here. Oh my god, look at these cigarette buds. And I kind of said buds, but I meant to say buds. Here we've got, uh, yep. So, Calderon. Calderon. So Brian looks distinctive, so that means we might be able to trace it a bit easier. Take a look at uh, Cole's nicely trimmed fingernails, and we can go ahead and set that back down and check out the weird well, footprints we right next to them. Doctors. I would know that imprint anywhere. Of course you would. All right, and now that that's done, those are evidences, more pieces of evidence for us to incriminate against criminals. So now we have to head over here, and there's actually a newspaper right there, but we're gonna grab that in a second. We run over here, we're going to see that they randomly put C out here, which is kind of funny. <laughs> but it's another Insta Heat water heater. Like By God, it's our buddy Reginald Varley. What a dick. So we know that they're still doing these uh, screwed up water things. And then over here, we can go and inspect this huge ass thing. And oh my God, that bike is beautiful. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundation. Yes, the foundation. Now you know how I feel, blah, 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 blah. I don't think there's anything back here, but I haven't actually checked, so... Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. What are, you, what are you doing in there? Are you looking for Spot or something? Or wait, what was the, the Dalmatian's name that the firemen would always take off them? I don't... I never understood that. Why bring a helpless canine to a fire? But we have housing development burns, and I think we learned about this, or we're going to learn about this, ex-servicemen rate. He's irate. That's how, that's how he is on the issue. He's irate. How did you get kind of reminds you of the irate gamer. First, he's, I, I don't know understand. about you guys, but he's really kind of but now I like do. irritating. I'd like you to come back I to the clinic. I'm helping Seems like such like a now. ABGN ripoff, but uh, I'm definitely not the first person to say that. So it's whatever. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. Really? Is that so? Oh god, it's one of those guys. I bet you like pizza flavored chips too, man. The fire should end now. They have served their purpose. All the fires are only beginning, doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Hmm. So if you do recall, um we saw an earlier newspaper with this exact same guy and he was really mad because the children were still there. The kids and the family. <clears throat> but uh yeah. So this one was fairly short, but the background just said change there is a fed black and white Rancho Escondido on Fountain Avenue, left in ruins. So we're actually going to have to head over there in a little bit. So five more dead North Hobart Boulevard, please. So 
Let's go, uh, so let's turn uh, 13, so let's go run over here and, and interrogate this sucker DJ and telling us what he knows, and for some reason, even though this guy doesn't have any kids, he has like a tricycle on his front lawn, I think he's a child predator, he just sits on his stoop, he's stoop man. LAPD, so, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? He's like, are you kidding me, man? Imagine after having won that weekend away. And the guy kind of looks like Quentin Tarantino, but... I don't know. Quentin Tarantino has a weird face. Not like bad or anything, just very distinctive. So, Dudley Foreman. Very interesting. So, the Morelli Fire Witness Report. Did you see or hear anything? Uh, Look, we were asleep when we heard these. So, these are very easy investigations. I'm, I'm, I'm almost thinking about stopping doing all the extra videos simply because we've gotten this far doing them all. But it's pretty simple, and we actually like have that, very few questions left to do, so with, I guess we might as well just tough it out. I already I have, have all this up. recorded, so They're knocking down all <sighs> it's these just old putting in the annotations, that's annoying. Yeah. But, was being difficult. yes, Morelli was being a difficult, uh, and all the suspicious activity, very terrible accents. Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Alright, so this one's pretty easy, so... Ah, uh, his yellow shirt is very unpleasant to look at. Sure, Mr. So, <laughs> Mr. Foreman. There's signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey. So apparently, this neighbor thing. didn't really it's exactly get along with the Morellis. Skinny though. <laughs> He's like, it's this tall. Orange lumber jacket, beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was God. working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, planned demolition. So we got a smoking man as our new POI. You said someone hmm. is knocking these houses down. Elysian Fields. You must know. So, They're billboards. The billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. Yeah, that Monroe that jerk. <laughs> I love his like his like mocking face so? expressions. I don't know. Oh, you don't know, do you? Well, <laughs> I say I doubt you. Whatever you I do. I do believe it out to you. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Ugh. Stubborn fool was ruining it. So for sometimes all of us. we're gonna get a new clue here in a second, but sometimes it will not uh, register. So you're gonna want to keep that, uh, you know, <clears throat> tucked in the back of your memory thing. reserves. Similar as to how an yeah, internet right. browser would store the cache of memories away. of the websites you visited. Was they're not the as easily accessible what? through modern know. means, but one day perhaps planet Earth will be able to. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's way too late. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Just blah, 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 blah. da truth, da truth, da truth, da truth. The competition was an incentive oh. for those who were still thinking about. It. Yeah. So yay! Thanks for your time. Sure. <laughs> hey, if you're interested, I have. <laughs> Look how like blank his expression is while he's saying that. Like he doesn't like. even. That would be great. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he's like, hey Cole, look what I found, and I don't. I'm pretty sure that will not be there. Uh, if you come, if you come looking for it, so. I remember walking past it, and I was like, what? So anyway, we have one of these origami cranes. And I actually used to know how to make one of these because in elementary school we had a uh, uh, Japanese exchange students come in and they studied at uh, I can't even remember what it was called, but uh, um, yeah, they like one mine like brought me like this origami book and I actually still have it, so it's kind of cool. And oh, my cat just jumped right next to me. So look at that face, just look at him. All you'll notice is that this guy is like, uh, I can't even think of the character's name right now, but his eyes never look open, like he's not even Asian, but Elysian Fields, question mark? We want to buy your old home today, call 2800 and we'll do the rest. Man, so, and by the time this guy comes out, he's like, oh, you guys already have one. <laughs> I see you already have one. Look how pissed he looks, but then he like kind of looks like he smiles like at the last second, so here we've got another... Similar yet different, and we want to buy our ultimate. The so there's the win a trip. They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in so. the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Interesting. You should mention that, sir. All right. Well, thank you, and hopefully we get the music. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we didn't get the music there. I didn't get the mu I have. I've yet to get the music on this part, and I have no idea what I'm missing. I'm gonna not scrounge around. But, uh, maybe if we... I don't even know. 
why it, it bothers me when I don't get the music even though I've investigated everything and still get all the clues. So, uh, game. Sometimes, I swear to God, let's get out of here. See you later, Crothers. I don't know when the next time it is we're going to see you, but it's not going to be for a while, so TTYL. Now we're going to go talk to this game wall, and we're actually going to get kind of in trouble, of course, because as you all should know by now, this is a government conspiracy. So let's see if any of these guys have to say anything. You jelly? <laughs> Alright. So let's see the game well. And so, yeah. Uh, I need an address for a proper developer. So, I actually, fields development. I actually made my PSN today for once, like, even though we've had a PlayStation 3 for, like, four years almost, I, I didn't, I've didn't. i never made an account on it until just today. Messages, please. And that's hopefully to get started on my new LP, which, by the time you guys see this, I'll definitely have at least one part upload, if it, if it turns up, if everything goes as planned, you know. So, uh... So yeah, I guess you guys already know what it is, but just in case I decide to change my mind, I'm not going to spoil it here, just in case I do it in the future. So, here's the main honcho of our case. So, hmm. <laughs> I'm warning you, Phelps. Well, don't be a jerk about it. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, there. <laughs> what the hell were you doing there? Yeah, McKelty's an asshole. You guys will see him, more of him later, but um, here, we're going to just head over to, uh, no, yeah, Rancho Escondido. So, yeah, okay, please. Oh, there it is. Thanks for just showing up. At a double this is definitely a video game. So eventually, spoilers, we are going to go to Legion Fields, but for now, we're going to go to Rancho Escondido and incompleted Legion housing development destroyed by fire. Um, okay, Cole, are you just going to not do anything? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Like hell you do. So, let's go to the supermarket first. Shame about Chap. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. Yeah, Chapman, he's customer. the guy we chased down on the other one. We actually bet. smashed his face against the, the swing already. set. And hope for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. <laughs> so yeah, that guy's an asshole. I hope we get to put a bullet in his brain eventually. That'll be fun. That'll be the day. The day all hell breaks loose. And then it'll be the end. And in the end. Oh, here we are. Welcome to Rancho Escondido. No homes opening soon. You know, hey. really miss a Hell yeah. And apparently... <laughs> I really like that saying. There's more religion at the end of a nightstick than in the 100 cathedrals. Just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. There's like, what's when, truth, sir. what's don't real, and what and people... I, I don't know. Money. I'm probably pissing off with the religion fanatics right now. now step Even though back, I doubt any ones are... Burn him! Alright, so now we actually okay, get to fight some already. jerks. So, let's take okay, these guys out. Uh, we actually have to fight two at once, but or two in a second, but after we get this guy. So he just falls all limp. And then over here, we do kick this guy's ass. And I'm pretty sure they're randomized, because uh, I don't remember fighting either of these guys, but I hope I can get this guy in a headlock. Oh, damn it. I'm going to do some sweet-ass shit. That's like, oh, yep, three perps. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. It's like, yeah, you don't even have your hat on. You were asking for it. So this is what we read about in the newspaper. Um, this is the same Rancho Escudillo house. We can go and check over here for our only investigative piece. Is this brick in the wall? Yes, we don't need no education. Sounds like you do. So now we're going to go and investigate this. And it looks like this, this, this brick is of poor cement quality. So I'm... Um, some shrinkage in the it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Yeah, tell me about it, dude. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Yeah, it was built on the cheap shit. The cheap shit. Yeah. So when we try and put it back all nicely, the whole wall falls. Like, goddamn, I like how that last piece that fell on the right there came back perfectly, like back on the thing. So. But hell yeah. So look at all those dead houses. Sucks for them, man. But, uh, yeah, let's go back over here. Now we're actually going to go confront Leland Monroe, that son of a bitch jerk. And why are there, like, two planes flying? It's like, God. 